Moro ja tervetuloa takaisin The Hunter Call of the Wildiin. Tänään on erittäin spesiaalipäivä, koska kotviin on just julkaistu uusi Revontuli Coast Suomi-kartta. Ja näin suomalaisena mä oon ohottanut tätä jo useamman viikon. Ja kaikissa trailereissa ja videoissa, mitä mä nyt oon tästä kartassa kerennyt kahtua, kartta näyttää todella hyvältä. Tässä kartassa on paljon tuttuja suomalaisia eläimiä. Tää ollaan menetään Suomessa. Mutta kaikkein suurimpana vetonaulona on uusittu lintujen mehtästys. Ja tämänpä takia suurin osa kartan elukoista on itse asiassa lintuja. Ja koska mä halusin tässä tämmöisen hyvin autenttisen suomikokemuksen tähän alakoon, niin rykäsi intran tällä meidän rakkaalla kielellä. Mutta nyt mä en kyllä halua yhtään enempää tässä ootella, vaan haluan päästä kahtelemaan itse karttaa. So, without any further ado, WTF, welcome to Finland. Hello everyone. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do that <laughs> intro for this video. <laughs> but man, this is my very first time hopping here at Revontuli Coast, the new Finnish map. And I'm a Finnish myself, as you might have heard <laughs> in the intro. So this is extra exciting for me. And since the map also comes with the new waterfall rework, and the map has basically a ton of birds, New and old, mostly new species. I can't wait to get out the shotgun and just start going out and see what kind of birds we can find. There's also a lot of medium, small and bigger size game like the moose and whitetail and the raccoon dog. So I can't wait to go after those guys too. But let me open this outpost, grab my gear and let's head out and see what we can find here in Finland. So we are starting the game in this camping grounds, which has like these small cottages that you can rent. These are pretty common here. It's an experience to go in similar place. You can also come here with a tent or a trailer. I'm pretty sure they should have a spot somewhere, at least in the map where you can put a tent down. But this clearly is our small cabin. Of course it opens outside. <laughs> so let's take a look. Oh, we have runeberry tortu. Okay. These are special Finnish pastries that we eat in February. Man, why would you have them at summer? <laughs> okay, that's a great reference for something Finnish. Say after me, runeberry tortu. That <laughs> we head out early morning. We go like 7.15, 7.30. We put it 8.30. Just so we don't have to hunt in the dark. Now, I really want to also do the missions, but I don't want to do them on my first impressions. But first of all, let's open the map. Ho oh, ho holy crap. Okay, we have Huopa Metsä. Then we have Tyyni Järvet. So first of all, we're gonna open up this lookout point. Keskitorni, which is like a middle tower. It's pretty much in the middle. I'll be rocking today with the 12 gauge shotgun. If we come across some birds that I can take a shot. And then of course I'm gonna run with my bow, as always. And I'm mostly gonna go around, open up the map and see what we can find, call in some moose, whitetail, and take our first peek at this map. We have the new ducks, which is... Holy crap, those guys are fast. Golden eyes. Holy crap, those are fast. Then we have Canada goose. Are they shootable on that dis that height? I really doubt. But let's see. Nope. They are very very far away. <laughs> there you go. It's a level three small moose. But this feels a lot like home though. Just seeing a moose walking around. It's fantastic. Of course we have moves in a lot of maps. Well hello there bear. There's a level 7 and level 4 bear just hanging around. Uh, this this camping ground Re Revontuli Leiri. Uh, 
uh, might be in trouble with some <laughs> trash eating bears just sitting around waiting that it comes night so they can just come and eat the place. But those new bear models look pretty awesome. Like look at that fluffy guy. It's way better than the previous one. Um, can I hide myself in here? I can. So let's see if I can get the moose coming. I don't want to get run over, so you better hurry, man. <laughs> Excuse me. What the frick? You serious? Look at this. 50 centimeters away from the tree. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. There it is. I broke my arrow. <laughs> Are there anywhere else? No. It's just on this side. This. There is a. Oh, I can't even go close to it. Yeah, I see. Okay. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> so I have a bit of change of plans. I'm gonna, instead of having a tree stand, I'm gonna have 3006 and and then 223 for the small game. Oh, hello. So these guys are just hanging around here. We have more. We have level 2. So their drink time is right in the morning. This guy has a high chance of being a diamond. <laughs> I'm gonna go and take this. This guy is... Oh, I thought I fell in the lake. <laughs> okay, this guy is pretty awesome looking. Is there more? So there are Eurasian Vigens. It's fun that I probably know what these birds are in Finnish. But is that in English? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a very high rack that he has. It looks awesome. It's always fun that maps with white tail. The white tail is the first species you're gonna see. Alright, so that's pretty good shot that I have there. Take it to 150. I don't think there's a tree in front of him, so... Got it! <laughs> Now, can I take anything else though? Is there... Are they gonna run from here? Oh, they're all running here. So let's take out this guy. Got him. It's going down. And this is gonna be the last one. Got it! <laughs> all three down. Let's go. Man, I really like the landscapes. Like... Just the other day, we were driving home very late in the night and there came like similar this fog that rolled slowly across the landscape. That was awesome. And it looked exactly like this. Oh, I can hear Kuovi. That bird, oh, mad. It, I feel like I'm home. <laughs> this, that's Kuovi. But let's take a look at our first white tail here in Finland. Holy crap, what a... Okay, the deer itself is decent. It's alright, the silver. But look at the quality of this... Of this harvest screen now. It's hundred times better than what they had before. Like, there is no contest at all. This looks awesome. This looks really good. I really like the black the black background. And there is even more li better lighting to it. Like you can clearly see there is more light to put into this animal now. Wow, that looks awesome. That is really good. It's gonna make especially content creators life so much better. 
And it feels so much more rewarding to pick them up because you don't have to look on the sky or whatever. You can just look wherever and there we go. That's awesome. Alright, here we go. He's a gold. 236. He was really, really on the like bottom half of the estimate. He's still looking quite awesome. I'm gonna tax him just because he's the biggest one I have gotten in Finland so far. Right away, such an awesome white tail. Look at these guys going. Compared to the previous ducks, there's no, there's, there's you can't compare. <laughs> like, these guys are flying. The previous ones were on a laser, just flying around, looking at the landscapes. These guys are zooming, they are going. <laughs> 184 meters, so it's not too bad. Got it. So here we have the second guy. 228. He's slightly smaller than the previous. Man, I, I can't get over how awesome this new harvest screen looks like. I should take out this guy because he's a max weight and he might respawn into a bigger one. Stop right there. <laughs> Got him. That's a moose. Where are they here? Oh, we are hairs. That's a tree. <laughs> ah, I I definitely have hunted the heck out of those two trees. Did I not really hit it at all? Yeah, I didn't hit him at all. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Man, okay. Okay, I gotta say. This looks... Picture perfect from here. I could easily see myself climbing similar hill and looking down, especially in the eastern side of Finland. Which is also referred as Lakeland in Finland. Järvi Suomi. That is pretty amazing. From like this single spot that I've been hunting so far, they have really captured the essence of Finland. It's the landscapes. Lots and lots and lots of lakes. I can see this being a real location in Finland with like look down at the lakes very realistic very very well done I don't see anything bigger so I'm gonna take him down so here we have this guy 215 getting smaller oh it was all right shot I thought I hit like somewhere here but it was a bit Better than I thought. It is awesome. Thor the bird. <laughs> Perfect timing. Ooh. There is some new one. Looks like geese. Ooh. Is it there? Or does it... I could hear something fly. No! These guys are fast. Got it. Now what do we have here? Man, that's... Ooh. That's a pretty bird. Let's pick him up. 
Oh, it's a gold. <laughs> My very first black grouse is a gold one. Look at that. That is fantastic. I haven't seen these guys in real life. Maybe maybe as a kid I have, but not like that I remember them in too much details because they have always just fly off. But look at that color. I know the red ones on top of its head are accurate. And also the tail is like split. At least to my eyes, this guy looks really good. If there are any real life grouse hunters in the, watching this video, leave down in the comments. What do you guys think of this? I'm gonna tax him. It's my very first grouse. <laughs> and that's gonna bring so much life to the map because if you are playing the game really fast, like you're like running from lake to another, having something in between is gonna make the game that much more enjoyable. Because a lot of time, if you are just running, going fast, you're just traveling in between the spots. But now you can just have the shotgun out and see if there are any upland birds flying. And that's gonna bring a lot of new different variety in the game that it has def definitely needed so far. If you like that kind of hunting, you are really in for a treat. How far away is this guy? 30 meters. I should have my bow still with me. I have. Got it! That is a big, big white blood. So he is gonna go down. Hello, Mars. <laughs> Did you get stuck? <laughs> Look at how pretty it is here. Like, here we have some wetlands. Then we get in the forest and it's it's very pretty. And especially the ambience, the sounds, they are pretty much on point. So let's take a look at this guy. It's my first Finnish moose. Lung and stomach. Man, the moose look even better with this new harvest screen. That's amazing. That's probably a grouse. Jeez, it's a moose! <coughs> nope. That was not a grouse. <laughs> so here we have a boat. It should take me way across over there somewhere. There's supposed there is a boat, so it should take me there. Let's see. Here we are. Right on the other side. And I have level four moves. <laughs> Alrighty then. Don't see anything bigger around than this four, so I feel like he's not gonna move too much and that's two shots the second shot probably hit properly did not still going so we have vital blood so i did hit something now here we go, here's our proper level 4 finish moose. It's really nice that he died here in the forest, in the nice background. Gonna use him. Let's pick him up, he's a gold. It didn't penetrate enough. It might have hit the heart, but it didn't penetrate enough. <laughs> and then the second one just hit it leg, so the first shot went exactly as I wanted to go. If I don't catch hard, it gets a, gets a lung. But the 30 out 6 is not a moose weapon at any... 
Well, hello. Oh. Tarmigan, okay, I have to shoot it in the air. How? <laughs> okay. That one I got. Okay. There more. There's one more over there. Man, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> I suck. But that doesn't matter. I'm gonna get better. Okay, let's take a look at the Patarmican. It's a Villa Patarmican. That's a female. Ah, that's a pretty bird. So far, all of these birds have been extremely pretty and great looking birds. I'm gonna accept that and I, I, I'm gonna get the other one. I'm not gonna let it go. And this, if I remember correctly, you have to shoot in the air. You can't shoot them on the ground. Got it. Where is it? Got that one too. Nice. Is this more? Where are you? Man, that's awesome. That's so much fun. Where the heck are you? Oh, he's right next to me. Oh, I got it too. Okay. That's a female. You gonna run here with your small feet? Come on. I suck shooting them up close. Okay. Deep breaths. Last shot. Okay. <laughs> I catch them with the, f with, with the far shot. And then I completely miss them up close. Okay, another female gold. How high? 772. So they're going by the weight. Clearly. So that's a gold female below Patarmican. Gonna text that. And then I have a couple more here. I think I shot two more. Oh, that's a male. Oh, look at that. That guy looks awesome. He's molding. So I'm not completely sure what of which of these are rare. Okay, that's so far my favorite looking bird. I think that's my last bird. Yeah, to be color female, the silver too. Now I really wonder, can the females make diamonds? That was a gold that I got, so they might get, or they might get the gold and then not get to the diamond level. Monumentti. Monumentti edustaa niitä, jotka menettävät henkisen taistelussa maansa puolesta. The monument represents people who lost their lives fighting to defend their country. That's cool. Oh, there's 100% an outpost. Let's go take that. So we can take a look, better look at Sumulahti. Siipikalliot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only map where I can pronounce the names correctly. Siipikalliot, Huopametse, Tyynijärvi, Aavajärvi, Märkis, Märkis, <laughs> Suurjärvi. What else we got? I haven't opened enough yet. I can't wait to open more so I can pronunciate all of the names. After I butchered all the names in the Avaroa, I feel like this is my redemption. <laughs> I can't go wrong with my own language. 
Or what? I can. Oh man, they're giving us mucky. It's a cottage. Ah, look at this. Oh, they have also mummu pyörä. <laughs> I used to cycle one of these bikes. I used to have almost exactly same bike. That's crazy. I mean, it's iconic. Oh, come on. Okay. You know I have to try it. My... My disappointment is unmeasurable. Come on, bounce, David. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. This is the best, best part. Okay, this is like perfect midsummer weather. You have your seating areas, you have your grill on a cottage by the lake, and it's raining. No matter what you do, in, usually in midsummer it's gonna rain or hail or snow. It's always gonna be a bad weather. Except this summer, we just had it and it was actually a great weather. So, but this is very, very Finnish. <laughs> like having this ball grill and then these plastic chairs. Yeah, very Finnish. Okay. Let's put the weapon out and check out the kitchen areas. Uh huh. We have some wet wipes. Multi-purpose wet wipes. Mm -hmm. The vacuum. They say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. <laughs> this clock is zooming. Look at this. Yeah, okay, this is very finished stuff. Oh, we are already a bit mixtape inside. Okay, we have raccoon dog. Jeez, those eyes. <laughs> I've seen similar pizza in Mississippi. I don't own the map. I'm probably never gonna play it, but is this guy just hanging around here with a bottle of liquor? Are you now? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk? Answer me, guy. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite thing. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I love it. That's okay. Map is saved. You, uh, I might forgive you for the trampoline. This is th this is exactly what you do if you have this lamp or you're visiting someone who has the lamp. Some of my friends when I was a kid had these lamps, and this is exactly what you had to do. Just push them around. <laughs> okay, pretty immersive mucky experience. It's a small house with couple rooms, toilet, and this is where you come at summer. All right, I'm gonna end my first, very first video here <laughs> by this very beautiful lake about Finland. Oh man, this is blast! Like there's so much stuff to do, and I haven't even scratched the surface. So I feel like having the upland birds in the forest between the lakes is gonna make the travel a lot fun. Because so currently if you're traveling from one place to another, it's not that much fun because it's quite tedious. You scare all the animals away and you're just basically putting on auto run and turning your brain off. But now you're gonna pick up the shotgun and just hope you scare some birds up in the air. So you can start blasting them while you're running and where you're supposed to go. And that is a lot of fun. That is a new layer, a new element of the, in the game that is desperately needed. And I gotta say, this feels a lot like home. I have just touched the surface in Huopa Metset and a bit in CP Galliot. 
just a bit, like not much at all. And the ambience, the sounds are really great. I really feel like that I am home with all the bird sounds. The ambience, it's it's good. It's very good. And the landscapes are beautiful. So far, really beautiful. They have put a lot of lakes in the map. Like, I'm gonna say easily, like, probably one fourth of the map looks to be water. Especially this bottom, the southern part of the map, and the middle is a lot of water in here. So probably 25% is gonna be just water. And from here, I'm probably gonna go and open this, this one here and go and take a look at how is the waterfall. That's the big, the, the new waterfall rework and I really want to see how does that work. How much new callers we have and what kind of equipment I'm gonna need to attract a lot of the ducks and the geese. We have so much new fowl species <laughs> that I can't wait to go and check them out. So. This has been my first impressions of Revontuli Coast, Finland. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you haven't already, so you won't miss any of my upcoming content. Thank you for watching, and as always, have fun, happy hunting, and I see you on the next one. Bye bye.